guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show on Sunday, November 11, 2018. In today's video, I'm going to show you a tractor trailer driver who accidentally got onto the Harlem River Drive heading southbound. Here you can see I'm in the right lane of 95 just getting off the bridge and traffic is coming to a stop. Up ahead on the right is a tractor trailer that has stopped dead in the right lane right here for no apparent reason. I theorized he was afraid to go under that sign thinking he wouldn't clear it, so I pulled over to help him if he needed help. However, let me assure you, this is Interstate 95, it's an expressway, and it is designed for tractor trailers. So I see he's okay, so I decide to go on my way. I'm in the right-hand lane now, heading for the Harlem River Drive, which is for cars only no commercial trucks of any kind are allowed on the Harlem River Drive. Let me reiterate that the purpose of this video is to educate and inform. It is not to make fun of tractor trailer drivers or any particular company because these guys work really hard and I really feel sorry for them when they have to drive here in New York City because I know our highway system is kind of screwed up. So when I see them make this kind of mistake, I always go out of my way to try and help them when I can, to try and save them a possible ticket. Because if they're caught driving these large trucks on some of these parkways, the tickets can be very, very expensive. As you can see now, I'm in the right lane, getting off onto the Harlem River Drive. The tractor trailer driver should have merged over to the left which is 95, like where that guy's going right there, that tractor trailer. That's where he should have gone instead of following me where I'm going. Now I'm getting off onto the Harlem River Drive and I see he's still behind me, so I decide that he might be in trouble. So I move over here to pull over to see what he's going to do. And although you cannot see it right now because he's out of camera range, he pulls up directly on the left side of my vehicle. So basically now nobody can get through because the tractor trailer driver is in the left hand lane and I'm going to try and help him out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over into the left lane right in front of him and I'm going to give him directions. Since he has stopped I'm going to pull into the left lane here directly in front of him thereby opening up the right hand lane so people can get through. I now get out of my car and I walk back to him to see where he's trying to go to try and help this guy out. Now as it happens, I find out he's trying to get to the Triborough Bridge, also known as the RFK Bridge. And this road actually is the correct way to go if you're in a car, but not if you're in a big rig. The gentleman was using the Maps app on his phone. He showed me he was using his Maps app instead of a GPS device designed for trucks. So there's really nothing we can do now. I mean he can't back all the way up to the 95 split. That would be too dangerous plus there's traffic backed up all the way behind us. So I said to him look as long as you're right here just go and get right off the very first exit. I said to him get off the first exit at 155th Street and when we get there, we'll be out of the way. I will then lead you to the Major Deegan Expressway, which will take you right to the Triborough Bridge and is a legitimate truck route. For safety's sake, I told him to pull around me now and that I would follow him to the 155th Street exit, and that's exactly what we did. Like I said earlier in the video, I really feel sorry for over-the-road truckers that have to come here to New York City because I know our highway system is old and antiquated. However, there are quite a few signs that say no trucks allowed on parkways. Okay, so always be alert for that you over the road guys. Now if you look on the right you're going to see the trucker coming by me now in his nice new Volvo tractor there. That's him. So now I'm going to pull in behind him I've got my flashes on too. I'm going to follow him off to the 155th Street exit. The reason why trucks are not allowed on this section of road are because number one, there are some tight turns as you can see. Number two, 
the lanes are kind of narrow and they are just not designed for trucks. If you look at the right side right now, you'll see there's a flashing sign that says trucks must exit ahead. Because let me tell you, this does happen periodically with over-the-road truckers and other truckers too getting onto these highways where they're really not supposed to be. Like I said, it's because they follow the incorrect GPS application either from a car or in this particular case he was using his iPhone, the Maps application from his iPhone. Anyway, it was Sunday morning, which was good news, traffic was light, and coming up ahead is the 155th Street entrance ra exit ramp, rather, which is where we're going to get off. I do know these highways really well, so it always comes in handy when I'm driving along the road and I see somebody that looks like they need help. So this incident ended well. I was able to get the tractor-trailer driver out of harm's way and on his way to his destination which was a truck stop out on Long Island. I led him up to the 155th Street Bridge and then across that to the Major Deegan and we took the Deegan to the Triborough and from there he was on his way. So yes, it worked out very well. Thank you for watching my video guys. I hope you found this enjoyable. If you're an over-the-road trucker, please stay off the parkways. Only use expressways. Remember, I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Go out there, have yourself a good day, rock on, and peace!